Inside your spotlight on now, we're discussing Community Sports Titans, the Teacher Edition Award Ceremony, which is happening on Tuesday, the 17th of September at 4.30 p.m. This morning, I want to welcome Ronson Hackshaw, who is the Physical Education Sport Officer 1 this morning, to chat with us a little bit about it. Good morning, Ronson. Good morning, morning. How are you doing this morning? Well. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I understand. It's that time of the morning. But tell us about the, about the Community <coughs> Sports Titans Teacher Edition. What is this initiative all about? This issue is to highlight um, teachers that play a pivotal role in the school ed education system using sport and, edu and the education system mm -hmm. to, to really bring out the and inspire youths within the community and, and in schools the importance of the combination of sports and educational ac academics in the, in the school system. So and why is it important for us to celebrate this? Celebrate because teachers who do this. Some of these teachers a lot of teachers, we all know teachers are hardworking individuals mm -hmm. in the education system. And some of these teachers, they have contributed so much within the education system, doing sport or physical activity within the school that inspired so many young children in this nation of Trinidad and Tobago. And a lot of these kids develop a sense of pride within themselves by combining sport and education together to get them a holistic sense of development within mm -hmm. the school system and the community. So we must look at a way to um, give these teachers some sort of recognition for the hard work within the, the communities and the schools. I love that you mentioned the, the holistic <coughs> education because mm. people oftentimes don't see the role that sports can play in education. Can you explain a little bit more about the role that sports plays in education and what, what impact you hope this award ceremony will have on that role? Well, sports plays a very pivotal role in education yeah, because it gives um, children or kids a, a sense of discipline within their own development, right? And a sense of pride as well. Of, I'm playing football, I'm playing cricket, or I'm swimming. I was a swimmer once, and it gave me great, it showed me great discipline and passion in the sport. It was something I loved. Mm -hmm. And we want to emulate this within the, the, um, the school system and within the communities. Yeah. So these teachers <coughs> are pivotal or leaders within the system. Because remember, the national sport policy speaks about um, having sports as a, a as an impactful tool within the education system and to change society and give these kids or these um, these children within the schools some development in a way that they'll they'll never see before if they just do academics alone. Right. You see a different side of development when you, when you combine sports and academics together. One of the things that I, I find we don't ever discuss is sports teaching you how to lose. <laughs> because you can't always win, right? Yes, I mean, when you're playing, regardless of the sport, whether it's like you mentioned, swimming yeah. or football, there must always be, there will always be a winner and mm. who didn't win. <clears throat> and one of the things you have to learn to deal with from early is how, how do I move on after I have not won? Well, I'm glad you said that, you know, because losing is a part of winning. Mm. Because if you don't lose, you will never learn. Every athlete or person in, in Trinidad and Tobago has, at some point in time, started here mm -hmm. and they reach here that is that is the pathway of your development you have to you have to lose if you don't lose you'll never know what's wrong ah. right and that's how you get better exactly mm -hmm. exactly all right tell me about how this <coughs> process happened because you're giving out awards to these teachers how yes. were they nominated in the first place right the, the nomination started in march this year right teachers um brought in nominations and we had a, a committee a nomination committee where we will select based on um their profile and looking at the data which are brought into to the members of the committee mm -hmm. and the committee will now select those 10 persons that showed exponential contributions or projects within these communities and schools okay what were some of the criteria that we had to assess them based on um some of the criteria is based on um maybe some projects they worked in school okay. um the length of years they work within the school system in physical education the impact they show within the community, um, based on the profile. I mean, they'll, they'll give a, a sense of what they did within the communities and schools. Mm -hmm. And the keep it, committee now will, will compile that information together and see which of, of these nominees really showed some sort of impact within the community or impact within the school okay. that really changed the lives of young people in the, in the school system. Mm -hmm. So here's my challenge with that, right? is if I were to say I had an impact on whatever, whatever, and I submit a beautiful document, is there verification that of says... Of course there's verification. I, that, I just want to make course, sure for transparency's of course, sake. Of what course does the verification look like? Well, verification is based on what the person uh, has submitted, um, submitted mm -hmm. right? Calls will be made, 
the school will be called upon, the principal, um, we may also, maybe not only, only schools as well, these, these educators worked in schools and within the communities. Right. Because you have some, some teachers, or physical education teachers, who did sport or physical education, they do after school programs mm -hmm. within the school mm -hmm. or after school programs outside any community around any environs of the school. So, right. so calls are made and verification is, is part of the process it's in terms of determining those nominees. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the impacts that we've seen on the community, can you give me an example of some of the ones that stood out to you? Uh, the impact, I was not on the, on the nomination committee. Okay. There were some, yeah, yeah, some pivotal um, um, leaders that were on the committee. But I would believe some of the impacts that, um, or some of the things that showed up on the, is that projects that persons involve themselves within sport and physical education mm -hmm. in the schools, right? And also in the community, right? That stood out. Because you have some kids that maybe moved on to different um, <coughs> sectors in their career because of that, that teacher and the sport they were involved in in an in a, in a after, 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 after school program yeah. impacted them to go on to school and get, get a scholarship abroad. So that investigation was done with the committee to, to, to really see, hey, this was an impactful person or yeah. nominee. That impactful program at least. Correct. Okay. That showed, showed, showed some impact. All right, so we have uh, Bedawi Gomez joining us mm -hmm. via phone. Uh, he is the Project Coordinator of Physical Education and Sport Division. Good morning to you, Bedawi. Good morning, Chad and Tobago. Thank you for oh. having me. How are you doing this morning? I am pretty good. All right, so from your perspective, uh, Bedawi, tell me how this project has been going in terms of gathering all the nominees and the selection process and all of that stuff. Um, have you been a part of, of the committee as well or no? No, no. The committee was the committee was uh, 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 selected um, external, externally from the from the ministry. Okay. Um, but the the process was um, basically we opened um, nominations were opened in March of of this year, mm -hmm. and um, we sent emails to um, schools, community groups, sports groups. Um, and it was also um, posted on our um, Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, um, for persons to send in nominations um, for educators um, that would have made a, a significant impact or contribution to, to sport. Yeah. And then they were, and then well, they were uh, went through a process whereby um, we had some kind of the selection committee had some criteria that they had to um, tick off um, to be able to select the top 10. You can, you can go through some of the criteria in detail. I know we get a kind of overview from Ronson just now. The, um, yeah, um, some of the criteria. So, like, basically, things that some of the individuals would have done would have, that would have been impactful, like events or tournaments, um, fundraisers, that, that kind of thing. Right. Um, you know, if they were, if they had any like sport related achievements, um, their position in the uh, probably sport groups, if they were like an administrator, a coach, a manager, um, yeah, I think those were some of the uh, of the of the criteria that we looked at. All right, the so number I understand. Of years that they would have. <laughs> I understand as well that the the event is going to be live streamed uh, next Tuesday. Yeah, tell me how we can <coughs> how we can be a part of it, Aronson. Tell me how we can be a part of the live streaming. Well, viewers, you could um, log on to the ministry's Facebook page, right? And September 17th at 4.30 p.m. will be live. But why should they tune in? Why should they want to see this celebration? No, we need, Trinidad Tobago needs to see um, these teachers. They need to see these leaders that, within, that, impact, that impact the lives of their children in the schools and within the communities, mm -hmm. to see the work they have been doing, to understand that this person, this John Doe, is doing this, that, this, this, within the community. Mm -hmm. Because some of these teachers, um, a, lot of, a lot of kids, thousands of children went through them. And the parents would love to know, who was this teacher? That the parents should, should know? Yeah, they should know, <laughs> right? No, what I'm saying, the parents should know, the parents should know who is the teacher that, that um, impacted my child life yeah. so Positively, mm -hmm. and, it will, and it, I'll be so glad to see that this teacher's been um, celebrated, celebrated, and awarded celebrated. for its achievements. Yeah. All right, but what can we expect from the live stream uh, on the seventeenth? 
Um, so I guess we're going to see these top 10 individuals being awarded, first of all. So we're going to um, award them with a plaque. Um, the individuals are going to receive some um, cash prize, and their schools, the schools that they are associated with, um, are also going to receive some cash um, prizes to basically help them with support um, the programs in their schools and probably providing some um, with they, can, they would be able to um, get resources to even improve the programs that they already have in the school. Um, other than that, it's just uh, going to be you know a celebra celebratory um, evening yeah. to kind of make sure that we highlight and get these names out there. You know, and this is just a, um, a, the first 10 that we um, have done, and we hope to be able to continue um, next time we do it to highlight even more persons and celebrate even more persons so that the Trinidad and Tobago, uh, you know, that these names could be like, become like household names, you know, when it comes to development of sport in schools and communities. Most definitely. I would agree with you there, and I thank you guys for the work that you're doing, and I'm really happy to hear that it's not just a ceremony giving out awards, that we're actually going to be investing in the projects that they're doing, yes. and in some cases, reimbursing these people because they put out their own money in some cases yeah. to be able to fund yeah. uh, some of these after-school projects especially. Mm -hmm. So thank you, yeah. thank you uh, both for joining me this morning, and thank you for the work that you guys are doing uh, under the Community Sports Titans Teacher Edition. Thank you guys so very much. Uh, Belawi Gomez, Thank the Project you Administrator, much. Physical Education Sport Division, and Ron Sanakshaw, the Physical Education Sport Officer 1. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Do enjoy the rest of your day. Ladies and gentlemen, we take a quick break and come back with more. Don't forget, Community Sports Titans Teacher, Teacher Edition Award Ceremony is happening on Tuesday, 17th September at 4.30 p.m. You don't want to miss it.